The twilight draped the sleepy town in an eerie haze as my friend Jake and I stumbled upon the old church on the outskirts. Its weathered facade loomed ominously against the fading light, beckoning us with a silent promise of secrets within. Despite the warnings from locals about the strange congregation that gathered there, our curiosity outweighed our apprehension. Pushing open the creaking doors, we were met with a scene straight from a nightmare. The pews were filled with shadowy figures cloaked in tattered robes, their faces obscured by darkness. The air was heavy with the scent of incense and something more sinister, sending a shiver down my spine. As we crept further into the dimly lit sanctuary, the murmurs of the congregation grew louder, their voices rising in a discordant chant that sent chills down my spine. Strange symbols adorned the walls, illuminated by flickering candlelight that cast dancing shadows across the room. At the front of the church, a figure presided over the macabre gathering, his features hidden beneath a hooded cloak. His voice, a chilling whisper that seemed to slither through the air, echoed off the ancient stone walls as he led the congregation in a twisted hymn. Fear gnawed at my insides as I exchanged a wary glance with Jake, but it was too late to turn back now. We were trapped in this nightmarish tableau, prisoners of our own morbid curiosity. As the service reached its climax, the candles flickered ominously, casting grotesque shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. I could feel the weight of countless eyes upon us, their gaze cold and unyielding. With a sinking feeling in my chest, I knew that we were not welcome here. With a silent agreement, Jake and I turned and fled from the church, the haunting echoes of the twisted hymn following us into the night. Though we escaped with our lives, the memory of that nightmarish church service will haunt me forever, a reminder that some doors are better left unopened, some secrets better left buried in the shadows.